सो है एवरी वन वेलकम अगेन ऑन देश टैक्स चैनल इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी वर्क ऑन द कैटेगरी स्क्रीन एक्चुअली एंड वी क्रिएटेड असम रफ ले आउट फॉर इट एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द ए पी आई ओके बिफोर फिनिशिंग दिस ऑल द थिंग लाइक द गिविंग अ फाइनल टच लाइक वी हैव ऑन अ मिंट्र आई वॉन्टेड टू कम्प्लीट द ए पी आई क्रिएशन फर्स्ट ओके सो एज ऑफ नाउ यू नो दैट इन API, uh, we don't need to create a uh, some Excel sheet for it, okay? Because actually the category will going to be the a uh, very small amount. So I'm going to create a simple API, and I'm going to create two API. The first API will going to be a post API, and the second API will going to be a get API. Post API again will going to consume by uh, a admin panel, and the get API will going to consume by our app. okay our mintra clone app so let's go and let's see what are the thing we need to do over here and before i will start writing a code please don't forget to subscribe the channel like the video and share the video to your friend it will highly motivate me to make more videos okay so yeah let's go and uh, let's start writing some code okay and uh, for that um let's define a structure of the api i mean uh, what it will accept okay so let's think like this is kind of a discussion you can think and here we need to decide that what will be the structure we wanted to save on our database i mean the category structure okay so if you see that we have a multiple drop down then suppose we have a object okay and this object will going to have one name uh just like suppose if you take example of this women category or main category so basically we created a uh, like ui for the main that's why i'm going to take example for this so for this you can think that the name will going to be main okay and uh, apart from that we need to have some description why you can see that if you see this this first level then just think about this i mean we are creating a uh, kind of structure for this particular uh uh, uh tile okay so here what we have is we have a name that will be a title and the uh, second thing we have a description okay so let's copy a description as of now we are just creating a dummy payload or you can see a contract basically we call this thing as a contract okay so this will be a structure we wanted to consume on our app okay so apart from the name and description what we can have is we can have a sub category okay so what does that mean a sub category so as you know that this is our first uh, object okay you can think that this is our first uh, tile where we wanted to consume a data so main will consume by the title and the description will consume by the subtitle okay now once we will expand it then we need to show some more data right so this is our first level accordion and now if i will expand this first level accordion then we will get uh, another level accordion okay so this is another level accordion where we have a couple of data again okay and apart from this name in description we should have a image url okay so like in first level only you will see that we need to show a name description along with a you i mean image okay that's why we need image url as well so let's suppose we have a test dot jpg okay and now if we are talking about the sub category sub category will going to be a array why it will going to be array uh, actually in sub category we can have a multiple uh, object okay so if you think about this object if you think about uh, one particular object on a sub category suppose i'm thinking about this only then what does the uh, does this have okay so i'm creating a json payload so just bear with me uh, we are creating a contract so what does it have it have a image url again and it also have a name and 
along with that we need to figure out that it is expandable to the next level or not because if you see that some of the next level accordion don't have a accordion it's just a simple tile okay so it can be expandable for the third level or it cannot be expandable to the third level okay so how we will handle this thing so if you think about this thing then we have a name again just take an example of this top here okay okay top here okay let me write a top here so just bear with me for some time for creating your contracts then we will going to have a uh, image url again let me just copy this image url property okay so this is our second property we have a image url after the name also we need to have one thing is it is expandable to the next level or not so this expandable can be our key expandable can be our key and it can be a true or false okay it will be a boolean value okay if it will be expandable then we will so this accordion again to expand to the next level if it will not be expandable then we will not show this accordion and it will be just directly clickable okay so that's it for the second level so it will be a array of object okay again because uh, we can have a multiple uh, sub categories inside a main category so right now what we are doing we are talking about one category so this is a main category so we are talking about the one category object so so this is a main object for this category okay and this can have a uh, multiple properties as we discussed this three uh, this three thing are necessary along with that when we expand this thing then we need to have some sort of data again so it it will be a array of a uh, sub category that's why we created a array and just for the example we can have one more uh, child i mean children as false okay so it can be expandable and it cannot be expandable okay so this was the second ex uh, second thing now uh, the third thing will come is uh, uh, li like a leaf category i mean leaf category means like inside a sub category also we can have uh, again a uh, array uh, what is the leaf category i will just explain suppose we have a leaf category and it will be a array um, why it will be a array again um, because if you see that uh, this was our first level okay when we click on expand then we come into the second level and now if we click on a this expand then we will go on a third level you can see that it is a leaf node for us so up, after this thing uh, we don't have any uh, expandable thing okay it's just a simple tile and where we will click i mean when we click on a t-shirt then we will show product related to the t-shirt only so it's a leaf okay and what it will have so suppose it's again an array which will come inside a subcategory okay so um let's write that so it's a leaf category and it's an array again and it it will going to have a just a simple name as of now it will going to have a name okay and you can think name as a t-shirt okay and that's it uh okay and uh let's add another example like t-shirt and casual shirt you can see casual shirt okay so uh, this is kind of a structure we are having and i will not add this leaf category on this because now is ex expandable is false so we cannot expand a tile to the third level so it it is not making a sense to add a leaf category array inside this data okay so this is kind of structure basically we will going to have okay uh, for our um, if i will just uh, give me just time let me just format it okay const i just wanted to format it okay so let me just copy it so just give me a time that i just wanted to format it because we not created a normal json so yeah 
so this is kind of a structure we will going to have okay and this is structure is really important to create a schema we already talk about the mongoose schema and why it is helpful like all the time while creating a node i mean a login we created the user schema while adding a product detail we created the product detail schema that's why to handle uh, the category data also we need to create a schema and i just wanted to explain what are the thing we need to have in our schema so it will be helpful for you to understand this video okay so we will need a name on a top level we need a description on top level we need a image url on top level now when we come into the second level it will be an array of another uh, data okay so and that data will going to have name again and image url and we just wanted to know it will going to be expandable or not if it will be going to expandable then we need to have a third level of data also okay so it will again going to be a array and in this array we will just need a name because in a last level we don't have anything like image or anything just we need to show a name okay so i guess you understood all the point now let's go in the uh, implementation okay and uh, uh, let me show you the data cloud as of now and uh, if i will refresh the page then you will find that we just have a mintra db and product details uh, uh, data i mean collection okay we don't have a category collection yet okay it will take time till that uh, let's uh, okay so inside the mintra db we just have a this two collection as of now product detail we are storing the data related to the product and user details where we are storing the data related to the user okay apart from that we need another uh, key i just forgot that we need a background curl color okay uh, actually uh, why we need a background color because uh, this till this this expandable tile need to have some background color actually if you see in actual mintra then you will find it have some kind of image and for me it is really difficult to find this image okay so i'm thinking to instead of putting a image in a background i will going to put a simple color okay and for that i have this uh, image to color converter so using this we can get a color okay so let me copy this hex code and uh, let me show you that what i'm going to store in a database okay so basically when we talk about the color in uh, uh, flutter actually we format our color in this format 0x f f and then we paste our color code so this will be our format to use it okay so this is our color so that background color i wanted to consume here okay instead of having a uh, some background image for this okay so that's it these are the thing we need to have on our schema so let's go and create a schema okay and again i'm asking to just subscribe the channel because i'm putting lots of effort so please don't uh, forget to subscribe the channel like the video and share the video and also do comment on a video okay so yeah let's go and create a schema for this the schema name i'm going to have is a category category dot model dot chase okay and when we create a schema first we need to import these two things we need to import mongoose which is a orm and we need a schema object okay after creating it let's create a schema instance the name of this schema will going to be category details you can say or just category will also work and let's define our schema it will going to be a different uh, i mean the the thing we will going to use uh, will going to be different than the other because it's a complex structure we have we have a main schema and i mean main object inside the main object we have again a sub object and inside a sub a sub object we again have a sub object so the the technique i'm going to use it called a sub document technique in a mongoose so if you haven't heard or uh, like 
don't know that how we create a schema for this nested object kind of thing so in mongoose we use a sub document concept uh, so let's do this thing then you will get to know okay so the first thing first is we need to uh, have the name so let's create a name and as you know that whenever we define a schema we define a type as well so let's copy this thing again and uh, let's put it over here so uh, all the time we define a type a string and it is required or not so you can think that name is a string as you know and it will going to be required okay all the parameters should be present in a database otherwise our app will not work okay so that's why all the parameter will going to be come in a required category okay and let me just copy and paste this whole thing again because we need for description along with this we need a color as well so let me copy this again so let's replace the key so we need a description we need a image url okay and we will need a color as well okay so we need a background color till that everything is smooth and simple you know we did it lot of time in our blog app development in in this project also that right? creating a schema is really simple now come to the tricky part is that we have a nested object okay and for that what we need to do is just simply have to create another schema for it okay so like we created another i mean schema for the category details we will going to create a new schema for our, our next object okay so what i will do i will use a const subcategory okay uh, details you can say we are adding details all over the places that's why i'm using details again and here i will just define the first thing will going to be name because it have a name okay second thing it will going to have a image url and the third thing it will going to have a selected i mean is expandable or not okay and uh, okay so it will be a uh, type boolean because it's it's a uh, uh, I mean it's a true or false value so and it will going to be required or not it will going to be required because I mean in present of this also our app will not work perfectly okay and uh, again we have a sub object again inside a subcategory so let's create another schema called leave category details okay and it will be a schema again and it just have a name not anything okay and now let's connect all these three schema one by one okay and uh, for that what i will do i will add another parameter in our main category detail schema that the name of this will going to be subcategory and as it will going to be array so i will use this okay and I will just pass the schema here. That's it. So that that is called sub document process on Mongoose. Okay, and uh, similar thing we need to do inside the this subcategory because inside the subcategory again we can have an array of lib category. Okay, so let's do this thing inside this also. And okay, so let's use lib category. And let's change the name to C category. Similarly for the subcategory also, let's change the name to subcategory. Also, I will going to change here. So I will not forget leaf category and the subcategory. Oh, sorry. Okay, so everything is fine. Last thing we need to do is we need to export it. I will do the copy and pasting here. Okay, so we will export. We will not export all of this three thing. I mean, this all three thing because we are using inside one by one. We just need to export this only. Okay, so I am going to export as a category details. Okay, 
and uh, now that's it we created a schema now after creating any schema what we need to do is we need to create a route for it okay now we are talking about the post and gate call so that's why i have to create a new route for it and that route will going to be inside a routes folder that will be a category details dot routes dot js at any point of time when we create route we need to import two things first the first thing is xpress and we need to create a router i mean we need to create an instance for that thing and the third thing will going to be we need to import the schema the schema which we just created okay so the schema name was the category details so let me import it okay so schema name is category and we will import it here using dot dot slash we need to find the path of the category schema category model okay after creating this thing what we need to do we need to create a api first i mean endpoint first the first endpoint i wanted to use is router dot uh, route uh, let's say it as a add api okay and uh, the next thing we need to do because uh, it will be a post api so we need to use a post http call and uh, here we will use a request and response okay in request we will going to get all the data okay so yeah let's come here and let's create an instance of our schema so when we add data in our uh, database we have to create an instance of our schema with a new keyword so it will create a new instance for it okay and the name will going to be small c and here we need to pass a data okay and what i'm going to do i'm going to use a rest operator over here if you don't know about the rest operator it's just a simple operator let me just hit the api then you will get to know about it uh, we will come to this part later we i have to explain it okay i have to explain otherwise i will put okay so I will just come to this part later okay so suppose uh, the data which we are sending from the back i mean from the front end or from the postman right now that will going to just copy here okay that's it uh, as of now you just understand that part in what i need to do is now we created a instance of our schema i just need to save it okay so it's a schema it's a mongoose schema and uh, it expose this save function or method okay and what it will do because we already connected to our mongodb okay and so it will directly save this data which we got from the front end to our mongodb database and how we will know that it's saved or not because it's a synchronous process okay so every uh, i mean uh, a synchronous process have this then keyword okay so while making a crud request on our mongodb it will i mean it will take some time and uh, and how we will know that it is perfectly saved or not we have to give uh, we will uh, we will know it in a den okay so if everything will work fine then uh, this den function will run and if anything wrong will happen okay then we will get this catch okay so if you heard about the try and catch block you can relate to this thing okay so it will just come in a catch block so this is a then block if everything will everything works successfully then i just have to use response.json i can say that category added successfully okay um, and uh, if anything will happen i will say respond.json with the status status will throw a 500 error that we got some error category we got some error along with that i wanted to just send a error just simply we will get a error over here and i will just pass this error okay 
uh, this is object sorting so if we i wanted to have the same key so i don't need to provide this like this okay it will work fine okay so we need to come to this part later but before that i will do one thing that i will just comment it down okay and i will send respond or json okay i just wanted to explain this thing okay now we added a post call okay let's use it in our index.js when we create a separate route then we have to route it from index.js to the that particular route for that what we need to do is first we need to import that route okay and uh, every route need to export the router so i will just export the router first and i will show you in action okay so yeah so here it will be a category details routes and let's import it on our index.js because it's important to import it and let's use dot slash and let's find the route it will inside the routes folder and it will be category details routes okay after writing this thing what we need to do we need to just do the routing and uh, it will be we will route to the category details and we need to provide the path now we are routing to our category route way i mean uh, in a file so now we are able to hit this thing okay and let's hit it in our postman okay i will going to simply add a new request over here okay uh, we did it already okay so i'm not explaining in deep so let's add a request and let's name it as a add category and it will going to be a post call as we saw and let's provide a path http colon slash slash localhost as of now i'm running on a local host on 5000 port and what will be the endpoint the endpoint will going to be this first because we are routing in this endpoint to that particular file and the last thing we're going to be is the add which we added okay so yeah let's add it okay so um if i will just give a request we are getting okay so let me hit it okay so if i will hit something here so i'm i will go on a body and i will paste as a raw and uh, let me copy the whole thing which we added over here that's why i was creating this whole thing to explain it and put it over here because we wanted to add it okay and uh, yeah this is our uh, data we wanted to add on our database and if i will click on a send and it is basically a simple error uh, what we are doing here that we are using a json object and we are saying it is a text okay so let me convert as a json okay and we are getting a read error okay basically this is a normal javascript object and uh, we need to have a json format okay so let's go on a browser and let's use online object to json converter okay and i use a lot so if i will paste a normal javascript object and it will going to convert a json data okay so just don't worry it's what it happened that in json we have to put all the key inside a double quote and in normal javascript the double quote is not required okay that's why it was giving a red error and if i will hit right now again it is showing the error and if i will go here okay oh actually we are doing one mistake that we are accessing directly a request not request dot body okay uh, and this is a terrible mistake i did uh, it will be a request dot body okay not uh, what we call uh, just a normal request okay so why now it is throwing a what is saying that okay uh, i mean we need to have uh, data okay something to send it on a key okay and now let me hit it again uh, it happens sometime that we just forgot something 
and now it is giving us that the same data we are sending from here okay we are getting the same data over here okay and what i just wanted to explain over there that we are getting this request.body and in the request.body we have all the data okay this data we are sending and what i'm doing here actually we i'm just just copying it over here okay so see suppose if i will do one thing here okay suppose i will do instead of this thing what i will do i will just spread it over here okay okay so we got this data earlier and if i will hit the send it will just copied it okay it is just copied it and the response is not changed yet okay so it is just a copy operation okay i'm just copying into the new object okay similarly whatever i am sending okay from the front end i'm just copying it over here okay so why i'm doing this thing because if i have to create a new schema i mean i have to uh, map all the keys which we are sending from the front end then we need to do this thing like uh, i need to map it one by one like request dot body dot name and description request dot body dot description so i have to map each keys which we are sending from the front end to here so instead of doing that i'm just copying the request dot body whatever we are sending i'm just copying it over here and it will directly mapping all the thing for us okay so that that's what i wanted to explain you okay and uh, here i don't need this thing as of now and uh, yeah i just explained this thing so i i can remove this comment and let's uncomment it because we wanted to save it it on our database okay so let me hit it again okay if everything will work fine then in our uh, this uh, data we will get another collection okay let's go and let's hit it and if i will hit the send then we got a response that category added successfully which means everything is working fine and here if i will refresh the page then we will get another collection okay and that collection will going to be a category details so this is our category details connection and we added one data over here okay and that data if you see over here okay so then you will find that we have name description image url background color is expanded as a false and subcategory and inside the subcategory right now we have two thing top here and uh, second thing is the again we copied it and uh, is expandable was false in a second and first one was the true and along with that we had a category t-shirt i mean leaf category t-shirt and the casual shirt which means the post method is working fine and we can add multiple category via our postman or our admin panel which is not yet created but we will create if you will help me like uh, i'm putting efforts so just like subscribe and comment okay uh, so yeah we created a post and let's quickly finish the gate also so that gate will going to be uh, router dot gate data okay so let me just router call uh, just or we'll just hit the category model okay i will explain you this thing uh, it will be a gate what will be the endpoint i will just explain you request and response okay and uh, what we need to do i will just going to copy and paste the query we wrote earlier find okay uh, because i have a short time so you already know this thing that to access the data we need to make a query on that particular collection and we just have to use a find query and if everything will work fine then we will get the result and if everything will not work fine then we will get an error if we get error we will throw a error 
okay and if we get a result we will give a result back to the front end okay now this is a gate meter okay really simple we are not doing anything and let me add a new request and that request will going to be get category i will going to share this uh, this postman collection to all the uh, viewers uh, so just stay tuned and what will be the end point the end point will going to be this nothing else because we are not providing any extra i mean route over here so it will work like uh, it will go here okay on slash category and if if we have dots i mean only slash then it will just return this thing okay so if i will hit the send then we get back our data which we stored on mongodb so we are not sending anything here we are getting this data from the mongodb only okay so that's it um uh, we are getting it as a array of object that's what we want right we now earlier we talk about this this thing that the this is just about the first tile okay so this is about the first tile we can have multiple tiles so right now we are returning as a array of object because anything we stored i'm um, any object we store in a mongodb in mongodb that will be stored in a array fashion okay so what uh, whenever we will fetch via the find method it will return us a all the data and it will be a array of all the object we store on that particular collection okay so i guess uh, we are done with this thing and uh, yeah i hope so you like this video and please don't forget to subscribe the channel like the video and share the video again i'm asking for help here and yeah cheer up let's coding and work on the app in the next video thank you all happy coding